Hi and welcome to today's Quantum Carpenter Nature of Flowers photo P on your iPhone tutorial. Today we're going to make a head full of clouds. You can see in front of you at the moment I've got a picture which is a head shape and it's full of clouds. Um, to get that I was inspired by when I went to the beach last summer and I was taking some promo videos for my Nature of Flowers net gaiters. Here's the original photo that I was working with. And I thought wouldn't it actually be really cool if rather than having the clouds behind me I had the clouds in my face instead of me and then a clean white background so i'm going to talk you through how we do this really step by step nice and easy to do it the first thing we need to do is select the head area now there's many different ways we can cut out a shape but today i'm going to show you the object selection tool in photo p so to use the photo p object selection to select my face i need to draw a big box over the image it'll take a little while to work and put the crosshairs in the middle of the area it will then select where it thinks i want to go if that's not quite what i want i'll draw a bigger box and add it to the whole thing now you can see i've got a flashing line around where my face and my head is now i want to add in the shoulders as well so i'll go to the quick selection tool click on the shoulder area as well and then all of that will be selected, hopefully. Now, what I want to do is add a white background instead of the clouds. So to do that, I'm going to make sure that all the area is actually selected. And to do that, I'm going to create a, a new layer by clicking the one next to the dustbin. And I'm going to hide the original layer. So I've just got I should be able to see the flashing line. There it is. Perfect. Now, I want to select some white paint down the corner. Choose the paint bucket. And I'm going to go select and inverse. So I select the area outside of the face with the paint bucket. I'm going to click it on the screen. You can see I've now got the outline of where my face isn't. I go select, deselect. And then I go back to my layers menu and I've got the background photograph, which I then open. And there you are. That easy to make a really cool head full of clouds. Now, there's lots of ways we could experiment with this. We could use the move tool to move the background layer around to see if there's a better area for. Oh, make sure we've got the move tool. Move it around, see if there's a better way, place where it could be. I should quite prefer it right about there okay and then we'll go back to this and if we're happy with it we're going to go file and we're going to export as a jpeg and we're going to click ok and we're going to download it okay brilliant well i hope you've enjoyed that really quick nice and easy tutorial how to make a head full of clouds so just to recap we've got a layer with the head on it and we select that area, we create a background, cover it in white, and there you go. Nice and easy. Now, hopefully you can do something similar with some pictures of clouds, or you could do different things. I mean, this is a this is the lead up to a double exposure. I'll be doing a double exposure tutorial in the future, so look out for that one. And if you've enjoyed watching Quentin Carpenter's Nature of Flowers, be sure to give it a thumbs up, tick the like, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.